Connecticut's sprawling countryside and quaint homes draw visitors from near and far. But the Nutmeg State also attracts a few visitors who just won't leave. Connecticut is a mecca for rumored ghost sightings, so we set out with a team of paranormal investigators to see what we could find. In the heart of downtown New Britain stands Trinity on Main. Built in 1891, the former church is now a theater for actors and musicians to hone their craft. It's also a place where mysterious noises, bangs, doors opening and closing when nobody's here, and strange feelings. I feel like there's somebody that's just kind of hovering and watching over. Make visitors wonder if the Romanist structure is haunted. So today, the Gone Paranormal team, led by psychic medium Lisa Lano, is investigating the scene with tools to detect spirits from beyond. We take a scientific approach and a spiritual approach. I take the approach as a psychic medium, but I also want to make sure that we can validate it with real equipment. Like this K2 meter. This measures uh, electromagnetic fields. Lights flash to indicate a presence. If there is a presence and we ask questions, it will go up on command. A laser grid helps detect movements or shapes in dark corners. And luminol can reveal blood. If it's known that there was something violent that happened there, we uh, use the luminol. The team also uses an infrared thermometer to check reported cold spots, like those that can send shivers up your spine. When you are ghost hunting, people will say, oh, I just got this terrible chill on my left side. If there's like a 10 degree difference within, you know, a foot, then we may have something. And they use toys or trigger objects to help lure young spirits. So we might say, we have a toy for you to play with. Would you like to come play with the toy? But the team's favorite tool? A simple audio recorder. Many times the ghosts will speak to us on the recorder. We'll leave it, say, right here and walk away for a half hour, come back, and when you listen to it, you'd be surprised at what you pick up. The group begins their investigation in the main theater room and are immediately drawn to the back corner. You know what, I do feel strange right here. It just feels kind of weird right around this area. I don't know why. They ask any spirits to make their presence known. Can you do this, please? No response, but when they go to leave. Walt's K2 meter went up to orange and then it went to Red. K2 meters can pick up electromagnetic yeah. fields from other electronic devices, so the team rules out anything that could have yeah. set it off. We were trying to see if this would make it go off, because we thought it did. He had both of them in his hands, and it didn't. So that would mean that there's more than likely a presence here. Oh, somebody's playing games with us. So Lisa puts her psychic abilities to work. I feel a female presence. I want to say young, 30s maybe. It's like she's weak which is making me think she passed from an illness. Lisa may be on to something. After reviewing the team's video footage, you can hear a woman shivering and sighing. I don't know, I just feel strange, so when it feels <sighs> Listen to it again. I don't know, I just feel strange, so when it feels <sighs> So we checked our video. We also picked up the same sound, but it was so quiet we almost missed it. I don't know, I just feel strange, so when you feel strange. Here it is again. We've bumped up the audio so you can hear it better. I don't know, I just feel strange, so when you feel strange. Before the team leaves the theater to explore other areas of Trinity on Main, they place a teddy bear on the stage. If there are any children in here that would like to come and talk to us, come and play with the toy. Next stop, the basement, filled with old paintings and props. Okay, let's see if there's anybody in here. In one room, Lisa suddenly starts to feel out of breath. For her, it's a sign that a spirit is present. Do you know somebody who, I don't want to say hoarded, but like to collect things and like my, to go through junk stuff? My aunt. Your aunt? Lisa describes in detail ghost hunter Charlene's aunt, who she's never met. She's got darker lipstick on and no makeup on the rest of her face. Yeah. Is that how you That's remember how she her? Was, yeah. Okay. It's she even knows about her hobbies. Coins. She's talking about coins. Mm -hmm. she, her husband was a coin collector. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they had books and books of coins. That was quite a surprise for me oh. because uh, I never thought Jay Shig would come through. In the basement, the meters go off several times. And the team's video camera picked up this. Watch as an orb moves across the screen and seems to disappear. It flies up from Lisa and across her fellow ghost hunter, Walt. Another strange thing? Throughout the day, Lisa's audio recorder dies not once. My battery's dead. Or twice. I just put batteries in these. But six times. More battery dying. 
This is insane. And remember that teddy bear? We found it like this. It had moved slightly. So after a long day of hunting ghosts, what's the Gone Paranormal team's conclusion? Trinity on Maine is haunted. For CT Style, I'm Megan Yost.